What's going on world? It's your homie Sensei ripping them back again with another video. Today we got Jerry Jones addressing the viral photo showing him back in 1957 participating at a protest preventing black students from entering the building. That's right, y'all. Before we get into what Jerry Jones had to say about this picture, let's hear Stephen A. speak on this whole situation between Jerry Jones and the picture. A lot of people was upset with Stephen A.'s take, so y'all know how we do, man. Let's hear Stephen A. speak on this uh, Jerry Jones picture of him back in 1957, and then I'll catch y'all at the end with my commentary, all right? So make sure to leave your thoughts and comments down in the section below. Yeah, let's get right to it. I'm pretty pissed off. And let me say this, <clears throat> I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones, and I'm not hiding that from anybody. Is his record perfect? No. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report said he was 14 years old. Yeah. Another report said he was 15 years old. At minimum, that's 65 years ago. You're going to bring up a picture of Jerry Jones standing at this protest. No question what was happening is not something that anybody as a black person should be appreciative about. We had six students at that particular North Little Rock High School that was trying to desegregate the school. No one should it be was, okay it, with it, it. Nobody should be okay with that. Regardless of We race. understand that. We get all of that. We also understand what we as black people and as black folks, black men have to deal with. And by the way, to some degree, we still deal with a lot of things and we all know it. Mm -hmm. Racism is alive and well. Bigotry and prejudice is alive and well. We get all of that. But you're going to bring up a photo of him yeah. when he was 14, 15 years old, 65 or 66 years ago. We, this, is, this is where cancer culture gets into the mix and you're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for, and all he has done. And by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. Yeah. I don't have a problem. If he was 30, 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old. 14, 15 years old. Right. But we're going to lean on somebody when he was 14, born and raised in the South, and we're going to pick it up 66 years <laughs> later to say, you know something? Yeah. You ain't hire a black coach. I think that's pretty low. I really, really do. I think that's. I think that part is pretty low. If he were an adult, yeah. that would be different. But a 14, 15 yeah. year old kid raised in the South who literally is just standing there yeah. looking, and we use that to bring up in the year 2022. Oh, this is where you are. You got to explain this. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to explain what you did when you were 14? Jerry, um, you did thoughts on the Washington Post article and, and how. The picture they painted of you uh, from a picture uh, when you were 14 years old. Yeah, that, that was, uh, uh, gosh, uh, 60, 65 years ago. And a uh, uh, curious kid, I, I didn't know at the time the uh, monumental uh, 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 event, really, that was, that was going on. And uh, uh, I'm sure glad that uh, uh, we're a long way from that. I am. And uh, uh, we just... Uh, well, that would remind me just to uh, uh, continue to do everything we can uh, to uh, uh, not have those kinds of things happen. Any regrets just being in the photo, being there at all? What? Any regrets on being in the photo, being there at all? Well, I didn't. I wouldn't uh, have just dug that up, for right. sure. Right. I mean, seriously. But uh, uh, that was curiously, uh, uh, I got criticized because I was more interested in how I was going to be punished by my coaches and everybody for uh, being out front. But nobody there had any idea frankly, what was uh, going to take place. Uh, you didn't, uh, we, we didn't have all the last 70 years of reference and all the things that were going in. So uh, you, you didn't have a reference point there. Uh, still, uh, uh, I've got a habit of sticking this nose in the right place at the wrong time. <laughs> did, you get, did you get in trouble with your coach for being there? I sure did. Right. What, 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 what was the punishment? Well, it, uh, it, you know, I was uh, a young sophomore trying to make the team. And, uh, uh, they kicked my ass. Jerry, Jerry, it came out to the Little Rock situation uh, at, at Little Rock Central, though, right? Uh, that photo and that incident. Excuse me? That incident came out to the, the situation at Little Rock Central. 
Uh, well, that was North Little Rock, right. which was literally just two or three miles away. It was it the same day as Little Rock Central that it came on? As I recall, day? as I recall, it uh, was certainly in proximity with it. Uh, those were certainly uh, uh, the issues that uh, were going on, but uh, did not have the uh, uh, structure or the, uh, the, it was not the event that the central thing was. Jerry, do you understand the perception that people have of you standing there? Because that was not exactly a welcoming committee that day. Yeah, I sure do. And I understand that. And, uh, uh, I've uh, uh, just understand it. Yes. So for the people that look at that and say you were a part of that, and yeah. you're saying you were curious, and other people are saying, well, this was a crowd, basically, you know. Look, look, uh, that was 65 years ago, and uh, I had no idea when I walked up there what we were doing. And uh, 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 it, um, uh, it just is a reminder to me of uh, how to uh, uh, improve and do things the right way. So what did you think of the crowd who, these kids were just trying to go to school, there was a whole lot of people, there was a lot of hostility towards those kids. Yeah, we're, we're uh, you want to ask me what I was thinking? Okay, I was thinking about, I'm going to get in trouble for being up here, and I didn't know what was going on, and uh, I was 15 years old. And, and so having said that, that's, uh, that's, that's all that I can remember. Okay. Well. Let's talk about it, y'all. That was Jerry Jones addressing the viral picture of him back in 1957, showing him standing in at a protest in which white students were preventing black students from entering the school building. That's right, y'all. According to Jerry Jones, he had no knowledge of what was about to take place. Uh, and that photo, as you can see, was moments before the actual protest broke out. And according to Jerry Jones, he had no knowledge of what was getting ready to take place. You know, wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, and it wasn't the racial tension that was on his mind. It was more so of him uh, worried about what his coaches would think once they found out that he was at this protest. Now, again, we heard Stephen A. Smith in the beginning uh, defend Jerry Jones and this whole controversy with him and this picture back in 1957 a lot of people calling Stephen A out again just because it's, it always appears as if he's pandering and defending uh, you know white constituents white people uh, in the media but when it comes to the black athletes he's always take that harsh uh, approach when it comes to criticism and a lot of people just pretty much tired of Stephen A Smith no matter how you look at it you know one week it looks as if he's he you know he, he's with us he riding with us and then the next he going hard on Kyrie, right? He going hard on another athlete for whatever reason. You know, the optics always makes it look as if uh, Stephen A is defending, right, the white constituents. But here we are, right? I'm not shocked at the criticism that Stephen A has been receiving, especially uh, as of lately when it comes to his criticism of Kyrie. And now we got him coincidentally defending Jerry Jones. Um, and we all know on the record he's known for uh, clowning uh, the Cowboys and just their lack of championships in the past two decades, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a while since they, they've raised the banner, um, a trophy over there at the Cowboys Stadium. So I can see how people would, you know, defend Stephen A and say, come on now, he's always criticizing uh, the Cowboys, right? But that's on the field. Where the criticism uh, is met for Jerry Jones is the fact that he's never hired a black coach, right? He has little to no black staff or minorities on payroll, you know what I mean, for the matter. So I just think it's crazy that you just see what happens when you just go back in time just to show this young man, right, teenager, where we come from. Emmett Till was a young boy, but he got treated, you know what I'm saying, harshly, right? Where we come from, children are treated like adults so the fact that people rush to defend the criticism behind the picture i mean of course we can't prove the man was racist in a photo but the fact that so many people rush to defend him just goes to show that the majority cares about the emotions right and the feelings of white folks instead of acknowledging the truth for what it is because again it was black players that was out there protesting against the injustices amongst the black community and they were disciplined for it, for speaking the truth. So this is where the criticism comes into play. But y'all let me know, what are your thoughts on Jerry Jones' response to this viral photo? And do you think Stephen A. Smith sold himself out defending Jerry Jones? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace.